Hey, hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Salandia Hammond, a.k.a. Sue Ham Baby, also known as your Thug Motivator. Real quick video to share some information that I just, well, I didn't just get it. I got it earlier today on a broadcast, on a webinar with, um, let me just check something on Facebook, make sure we're live. Can you guys hear me? I know you guys get tired of hearing that doing streams, don't you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? But um, we have to make sure before we get going, because I want to share some information that could really um, probably help some business owners. What's up? What's up? Okay, so we are live. All right. So I was on a webinar earlier today with um, the SBA, and I got some really great information. And I also asked for their permission to disseminate this information. They, <clears throat> uh, I was on a webinar that they actually recorded, and they are going to send out the recorded webinar so that I can post later on my page. But I wanted to share information that I already have that some of you might be able to use um, if your business is suffering financially. You may qualify for an SBA loan. Now, um, it's not going to be as stringent as your other uh, loan processes. Um, they are relaxing a little bit per, per the webinar that I was on. They're relaxing a little bit of the credit requirements. Matter of fact, let's put up a screen here and show you. Uh, they're relaxing a little bit of the credit requirements. They're saying it's going to take about 18 to 21 days um, to get your approval on the loan. You can get an unsecured loan, meaning a loan without any collateral, uh, up to $25,000. If you have collateral, you can get a loan for each tax ID number business that you have up to $2 million. Now there are some businesses that do not qualify. Okay, we'll, we'll discuss that in a little bit. Uh, there's also a deferment up to 12 months on these loans and the interest rates are ranging from 3.75% uh, for small businesses and 2.75% for nonprofits, and it is a fixed interest rate. And the good news is they have a lot of people that's inquiring about this webinar, so they're going to do another webinar on Thursday. Um, one of the ways you can go and apply for the loan, let's put this screen up here. You can actually go and apply for the loan at disasterloans.sba.gov. Uh, the webinar that I was on today was very, 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 very informative. People asked a lot of questions. I just wrote down like, uh, you know, some really important notes that I wanted to share with you guys, but I also wanted to encourage you to do your own research and go to the SBA website and sign up for the webinar that they are doing on Thursday. Again, uh, if you have no collateral, you could possibly get up to $25,000. As you can see, the maximum unsecured loan amount is $25,000. Uh, you can apply for the loan, and even if you get approved and you decide, hey, I don't want the loan, there's no obligation for you to take the loan, and there's no cost to apply, no application fee, none of that. And what the presenter told us today on the webinar is that the credit requirements are being a little bit laxed for this loan. Again, deferment for repayment up to 12 months. And once you submit your application, it could take anywhere from 18 to 21 days to find out if you are approved or not. And these are some of the ineligible entities who cannot apply. Religious organizations, charitable organizations, Gambling concerns, casinos, racetracks, agricultural enterprises. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You guys can read. These people here are ineligible to apply for the disaster loan. Now, here's what I would say. Let me put the disclaimer out there. I'm not an accountant. All right. But here's what I would say. If you don't need this loan, don't apply for it. Um, the loan is also to be used for, um, for it can be used for payroll, it can be used for accounts payable and things of that nature. It cannot be used to compensate for any profit or loss that you may not that you may incur because of this disaster. Let's see. Um, these are some of the things that you will need to file. Nowhere on there, nor did I hear her say that you would need a business plan. Um, but you would need a financial statement. You would need your tax returns. If you filed, there are some people that ask questions and said, well, what if I just started my business or what if I haven't filed my tax return? Uh, one of the things that she said that you would need is a uh, 
profit and loss statement, a projected statement, a projected forecast of what you intend to make to show that you can repay the loan. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have another one I want to show you guys? Um... But anyhow, if you want more information, you can go to disasterloan.sba.gov. Again, interest rates for nonprofits are 2.75% fixed. And for small businesses starting out at 3.75% fixed. Payments deferred up to 12 months. Um, if you have several businesses and they all have their own EIN tax identification number, you could apply for several loans, okay? You, uh, if you want unsecured loan, you could qualify for as much as $25,000. If you have collateral, you can apply for a loan up to as large as $2 million. And all they're saying is that they need one year of tax return. So they're not requiring a whole lot. Seems like this is a great thing to benefit um, business owners. Um, of course, I would love to see them like give a grant or something to business owners, you know, uh, take care of small business owners like they do, um, like they do these large corporations and who knows, maybe that will happen. But if you want more information, guys, you can go to the website and I will drop, um, some information down below for you to find out more information. I hope this helps. I'm praying for your businesses. I'm praying for people who are laid off from work because of this disaster. Praying for kids who are out of school. Um, to students, please keep your head up. To everybody all around the world, please keep your head up. Um, as I get information, I will continue to disseminate it. Again, guys, let's help each other. Let's stay home. Let's eat healthy. Let's exercise. Let's be joyful. And let's get through this, man, because we will get through this. I'm Salandia Hammond with SueHam.com, and I'll be back with more information. But until then, guys, I want to encourage you to live, love, learn, and laugh. Don't quit. Follow your dreams to success. I'm out.